It's only been ridden from Harley. Crazy. Probably need to start his chopper. Pop this little Vinoco. Oh, it's starting to get juice. Here's the headlight bracket. Let's get this freaking guy. And then we're gonna put the hard mount on. Came out Crazy. looking good, dude. Yeah, it's still kind of straight off. What up, Crooks Moto Crew? We're in the garage today. We are throwing a birthday party. No, actually, we were putting a crater fairing. We actually have to install two crater fairings on Dirty's FXD that we graciously got from Crater. It's the Road Warrior and the Hard Mount Road Warrior. Wait, are we throwing two fairings on at once? Yeah, we're like, doing one in the front and one in the rear. Dual fairings, so that way somebody's right behind them, they get freaked out, think they're coming at them? Yeah, it's gonna be sick. It's dark. Lots of fab work are gonna go into this. It's gonna be tight. We've never seen it done, so we're gonna be the first. Yeah, so we're waiting for Duty to get over here. In the meantime, we're doing some work on some of the other bikes, making sure things are started up. It takes a little bit to uh, maintain all the homies' motorcycles that are at the house, so. Yeah. All right, guys, without further ado, Josh. <laughs> Hi, so what we're doing over here is we are trickle charging Maui's uh, 23 CBO Road Glide, and it is, it's only been ridden from Harley. So we bought a brand new bike and then had life stuff happen. So it's been sitting here, we've been maintaining it. Uh, last time we went to start it, uh, just to run it, it had been sat just a little too long. So it would turn on, but it wouldn't turn the starter. Yeah. <laughs> you know, turn it, it off. It wouldn't crank over. Yeah, it wouldn't crank over. It didn't have quite enough juice, so it won't even try because it's like smart. And it'll, it'll say, we don't want to put any stress on that thing, we just won't. We figured out, since we hadn't pulled this apart yet, we had to, this was still tucked in there from the the factory, the uh, sock trickle charger, and so we just busted out the trickle charger. We're gonna put this guy on the charge and watch trickle charging. Crazy. I don't know. I don't know either. But yeah, dude. CBOs, baby. We'll get that guy on. And then, what else? Probably need to start his chopper too. Yep, we're gonna start his chopper up. We're gonna start the Dyna up. I'm gonna start my wide glide up. Yeah, we're gonna start the freaking Dyna. Let's get this guy. L started. Truth and neutral. Yeah. Needs a good bath too. They all need a bath. Yeah, every bike in here needs a bath. So it's got some summer love going on it. Okay, here we go. Got another dead bike. It's okay, these things happen. But we got charges for that. Luckily, we can do the jump start on this one. So we can pop the side panel off and use my jumper pack. Yeah, we need a screwdriver. Pop this little plastic guy off here. Popping this always makes it so much easier to be able to get down there, and especially if you drop the screw. All right, after 20 minutes of searching for a Phillips, Bing! we found one in Josh's bike. Oh yeah, does that loose? There was something that was loose on me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, Everything's gonna tighten that up. Okay, jumper. Grab an L jumper. The NOCO. He bought the lithium for this. The jumper's dead, basically. What does that do? That turns it on jump mode. Oh, I knew that was the thing. Yeah. Got it all, baby. Insane how this thing's only got 5,000 miles on it. Alright, 
take her around the block. Yeah, dude. Let's go. The struggle of getting the bikes out. Scares me, dude. I haven't even rode that thing yet. I don't even know what it feels like. That 110 low rider S, the 2017, last of the freaking twin cam, but with the bumped up engine. But that thing rips, dude. Actually, I know it rips because me and Maui have freaking raced and he smoked me. That Sawicki pipe, dude, is insane. How's she feeling? Dude, the front end's so squirrely. Really? But it's stable when you're riding straight. It's just, if you just do this, you can, the whole front end goes all over. It's so peppy. The clutch is like at the very second you start letting it go, it, it wants to go. It's not at the end, it's at the very beginning. I, I, did you go on the back road? I heard you. Yeah, I heard you back over there. is sick like does not vibrate like a typical dyna no it's smooth as butter it's super smooth like it just almost feels like i'm riding an m8 i don't know what they did in this motor build maybe it's just it only has 5,000 miles on it but no, it's, 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 it's nothing smooth. is better yeah this bike rips dude this bike is awesome i wish this was my dyna it rides so smooth it just rides so effortlessly and it's got so much power. It's insane. When you rip on it, that thing just, you can just feel the torque, dude. All right, so maintenance down on one bike. Sweet. All right, so the trickle charger doesn't seem to be really doing anything. The voltage just continues to kind of just not be consistent. It doesn't seem like it's doing anything. We're not getting any electricity power, even just for being on here for the last 10, 15 minutes, we're not getting anything. I mean, it could take like two, three hours or something. That could be it, but we're gonna see if maybe we can jump it and just pull this stuff up so the angle sensor is not indicating the bike's leaned over or anything, because that was our issue. We were getting power, maybe would have started, but it seems like that angle sensor was indicating that the bike was, you know, past the point of being able to start. So yeah, that's where we're at. All right, so Josh has got another trickle charger that is can use alligator clips. So we pulled everything up again. We're gonna use the alligator clips and at least try to get that just that exposed terminal on the positive, so minimal right there. Oh, cause there's some sort of plastic clip over it. I wonder if we can take that plastic clip off. I think we might be good right there. Yeah, 12 AGM. Oh, we're getting something. Should okay. We, should we go down to repair? Uh, let's leave it on that for a bit and let's see if we get up to at least one more bar. Oh, it will. That's just showing you how dead it is. Yeah, no, it's dead, dead. Like dead, 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 dead. But if you remember, Maui had an issue with this battery kind of from uh, the jump. This is looking different now. Oh, uh, it's starting to get juice. Well, yeah, the lights are on. Juice We're getting now. juice, baby. Sick. All right. In the meantime, start Maui's chop, give that a little cruise, and I'm gonna turn my wide light on at some point too. Bike maintenance day. Yeah. Meanwhile, still waiting for dirt, so we'll see. All right, we got a low front tire. Need some freaking PSI in this guy. You need that. We're at like 10 PSI or like 11. We're at like 30 something PSI. All right, front tire is good. 
a little lower on the rear on the on the hardtail is fine. Yeah, the rear the rear tire looks fine, dude. Got to tighten up that ignition a little bit, a little loose there. All right, we got power. It's so comfortable and fun to ride. It's got such a such a great stance. Yeah. Yeah, the indicator lights. Yeah. Speedometer. It's crazy how less rigid this bike feels than either of our two bikes. Yeah. I don't know if it's like something about the stock frame with a with this kit on it, like handles vibration more, because our tubing is smaller than all this tubing. I don't know, but this just translates way less vibration. I really want to know what jets are in this CV car, dude, because that may help you in your mission, because I'm pretty sure this is a, a 97 or a 99. It runs nice. Another thing too that's different than ours is it's got the top motor mount. Yeah. What's up, how you doing, man? Dude, good, bro. <laughs> good to see me like always? Yeah, of course, man. What I've been up to? Yeah. Peace, love, and chicken grease? Yeah, dude. Who's this guy? You know what it's about? It's about the money. No. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude. We're working on the CVO right now. Oh, maybe a possible startup? Aye, aye, aye. Not yet. Not yet. Box number one. Box number one. Okay, just wanna hang out, guys. We're here with Channel 7 News. Yeah, Five at Kirk's Money. Dude. Boom. I'm out of breath just from pushing the bike. Damn, That's dude. hard being good looking. Ooh. We got Dirty's bike. We got two crater fairings here. We got the quick release one, and we got the hard mount one. And we don't know exactly what Dirty would prefer. Quick mount is you can take it off. Josh, for instance, has the hard mount, and I would say Josh probably prefers that because it's like once it's on, it's like you're not really ever taking that no off. No intent on taking it off. That's what I, I yeah. feel the same as him, but well, you know. Also, you gotta think, so you got your headlight here. You see how it's nice and tucked in? To be able to run these, you have to extend your headlight out. So if you were to actually take it off, your headlight's gonna be like sticking out here. Yeah. Not by a lot, but by like another inch. By enough that like it, it kind of messes with a little bit of the like look when you're not running a fairing. Hmm. So I would agree with Josh. I think the hard mount's a better option unless you feel otherwise. No, the, the hard mount is definitely what I, I, but I'm willing to try whatever, you know, like. Cool. So first things first, then we're going to put the quick mount on. We're gonna we got to put them both on. We're going to put the quick mount on, get this video done, and then we're going to put the hard mount on and be gone. So in the creator box, we got a little hardware bracket kit. We got an extension for the, the headlight. The creator does actually, among other fairings out there, do have a little overview with all your materials and some instructions. So that's cool. We don't need them though. So, yes sir. What all comes? All right, there's your quick mounts, hardware, your brackets. Great job with packaging. There were three different layers of packaging on this. For two different layers of packaging and Film. I think first things first, probably do the headlight extension. Definitely. And I guess in the meantime, if you want to get the bracket system mounted to the bearing, kind of double team it. Here's the headlight bracket. Grab some tools and get this thing installed. It's going to go right here. Not sure which hole we need to do it, so okay. we'll have to figure that out. So let's get some tools. Let's go. All right, update. So it's not a quick mount, it's a hard mount, uh, but it uses fork mounts and then attaches to the side of the fork mounts, similar to their gauntlet style fairing. So this one, this one shakes a lot more. This is gonna shake more, because this one is sturdy to the This triple. one's like mine, it's sturdy. So we're still gonna end up putting that one, leaving that one on dirty spike. Yeah. So still same process, we just gotta get everything going. Looks like they've got the congestion figured out. Back to you. <laughs> 
that. Birdie's getting some upgrades. Okay, so headlight extension is in. All right, Josh is getting brackets going. Phew. I'm gonna get the fork clamps going. Got the, the clamps on. Clamps are on now, they're just on loose. Just enough to get it going. Josh has got the fairing together, the brackets are on. So now, we just need to, um, well, get these bolts off. All right, let's get this freaking guy. So I don't really know where headlight. Hold it. Oh, this is this this right here. Pretty good. We could still go up just a just a tad. All right, getting windshield mounting going. Getting all that good to go, dude. What do you think? I think it's badass. Are you gonna be able to see over this thing? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, one thing though with this, if for some reason, like with the other one, you can't, in theory, we can bring the mount, uh, the headlight can come in a little bit, but that'll lower it, which means the whole fairing can come down a little bit. So there is some adjustment. We could probably get you like an inch lower. Dude. Honestly, I wasn't sure what I think with the apes, but the apes perfectly line up with the top of the fairing. Yeah, they meet right at the top. Plan. Like the whole thing fits really, really nice. It fits really freaking nice, dude. And I love how it's not full dark black smoke. So at night, like you can still be able to kind of get a visual through it. Just a little more than smoke. Like when it's full black smoke, you, there's just no seam through it. Came out looking good, dude. I sure do love big new. I sure do love Kirk's photo. Dude, it also looks really sick from the side. It fits really well. Like with that single gauge going in there. Yeah, this is a good look, dude. Well, let's roll it out. I freaking hate the way. All right, guys, we just got done filming the video for this for Creator for their Amazon listings. Dude, fairing looks freaking sweet, man. This thing. It's dope. It's super dope. Just went and took it for a little rip around the block and it feels nice. It looks really good. It looks yeah. Super good. Dude, we're going to put that other one on your bike, the hard mount one. This one, you know, like we didn't cinch everything completely crazy down because it's coming off. But even this feels so much more sturdy than the quick mount one that they had before. So, well, thank you, Crater. Thank you. Big ups. Showing some love. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, dude. All right, next fairing install. Here we go. All right, guys. So now we got to take the headlight extension bracket off and pull the fairing off. We're now going to put this other fairing on. So we're going to get that started. Dude, everybody in the comments, say what's up to Dirt. Hasn't been in the past couple blocks, but he's back in action. Just got to go enough to slide under there, right? Yeah. This fairing slides under your riser bolts. It's got a little slot. Slides under there and then mounts on the bottom triple tree. So much more solid. They should have way less like potential rattle. Should be nice. But I will say their revised version, instead of the quick mounts with the rubber dudes, the on and off, much better, less rattle. So if you guys are interested in the crater fairing, get the one, get the updated one. Really? Yep. Close to. Is it because of the handlebars? Wait, well, well, can this? Uh... Oh yeah, it can move a little bit. That, that just changes the angle. To, it's not. I mean, maybe. Yeah. You got you. That. Well, I mean, can you take the, the mount for the speedo and flip it backwards, like flip the other way? You can tell them that, hey, they should suggest to people that, you know, if they've done any handlebar changes, that they should get these risers, like, you know, there's nothing for it to clear. All right, so the dilemma, as you guys just saw, is that that other fairing, the because of the gauge location, the risers aren't very tall. So we can't do the 
full hard mount one because of that. Oh, those slide in like so, I see. All right, we're making do, we're making it work. All right, dudes, we put this fairing back on because, well, the other one isn't gonna work with the Speedo and the risers, so we're putting it back on. This time we're gonna tighten everything up to spec though. Bro, why are you yelling at us? I'm overly excited about how sick this fairing is. <laughs> hey, dude, why are you talking to me in all caps? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Oh. Here's your side part, huh? Sit down with my side part, yeah. Can't stop. 35. All right, so we got it back. Is this guy all tightened down? We just need to tighten down the headlight. But we got it, we're off now here. Take this. You got to turn the bike on. Not sure. I think we're going to touch the ground on it. It's fingerprint, access on. Uh -oh. And if for some reason dirt, when you if you notice it's still just like shooting out, just you know, just get down in there and just push the top down a little bit. TVO runs, baby, running nice now. Rear tires low. Oh, nice TPM sensor, nice. Gotta put some freaking air in that guy. Yeah, quick little battery charge for about an hour, maybe two. She's back, back and running, dude. Bearings on there. We're gonna get some stickies off the thing. I'm gonna get the reflectors off, the spare seat little things off. Then we're, we're good to go. Yo, what up guys? All right, it's the end of the vlog today. We got a lot of stuff done. We put a fairing on Dirty's bike. We took some reflectors off his bike. We got all three of Maui's bikes turned on, charged, running, some overall bike maintenance. It was a good day. Mm -hmm. Very good day. Yeah. Productive. Thanks for watching Kirk's Moto today, guys. Be Appreciate sure to check it. out some other videos. Wise words what, from Bernie. What else should they do? Josh got to translate that. What was that? Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. We love y'all. Peace. Peace.